What do you get when you cross supply chain issues with a rising demand that applies pressure to a short list of suppliers worldwide? Stock issues. Welcome to the creatine shortage. Remember when I told you guys prices were about to spike for supplements? It was early, but I provided some evidence to support my theory as to why it was happening. And lo and behold, prices skyrocketed across the board. Well, get ready, because it's about to get worse. I hope you have some creatine stocked up like I suggested in the last video I did on this subject, because it's about to vanish from the shelves very, very soon. This all goes back to the issues I spoke about in my June video on supplement price increases. To quickly recap, we have a growing market in China causing a spike in demand, a short list of sources worldwide to cover it, and supply chain issues causing a drop in stockpiles. The first result was a universal spike in price for most everything, but the second one, in the case of creatine, is a full-fledged shortage leading to places not having any in stock. Go ahead and look online to find creatine. What you'll likely find is a lot of places don't have a lot left if they have any at all. I've already heard this parroted from a number of people I've spoken to personally on the consumer side of things, so when I heard it coming from someone on the inside, it didn't really surprise me. So why creatine? Why is this the one thing that seems to be set to hit a shortage? Well, other than the short list of suppliers around the world, three I think, it's enormously popular thanks to the massive quantity of scientific evidence supporting its value as a supplement. Very few, if any other supplements, have the same stack of papers backing its value to the fitness world. It's possible to eat enough meat to get it through your diet, but that doesn't mean it's reasonable when it comes to real life application. To get 5 grams of creatine from various meat sources, you'd need to eat about 2 kilograms of tuna, a little over a kilogram of cod, a little over a kilogram of salmon, one kilogram of pork, or 500 grams of raw herring. And that doesn't even take into consideration the loss of creatine that comes with cooking. All that to say, even those numbers, except for the raw herring, are subject to change when you cook it. You'd likely have to eat even more than that. So eating it from food is not a useful solution for the vast majority of people, and it's just plain inconvenient for even the most gung-ho of us eaters out there to do consistently. So the only other option would be to supplement it. So it's really useful, it's really convenient, and it's in high demand with few global suppliers. By the way, I'm not the only one reporting on this. To make matters worse here, the raw materials to make creatine seem to all come from one place. China. 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 Yep. I don't think I need to tell you how much of a problem it is when A, all of your eggs are in one basket, and B, that basket gets <coughs> causing the whole damn country to shut down for a while and cause a massively negative impact on its ability to export goods. I mean, they could also just be using it as a power play to regain control of trade, but that's not for me to say. My, my lane is fitness. I'll stick to creatine and keep that theory to myself. All this to say, if you are even kind of close to the end of your creatine, get more now. The number of times I've told this to people only to watch them punk out and get small containers of creatine astounds me. Seriously, the only person who's going to be sorry when you run out of creatine and your gains suffer is you. So, I guess, whatever, don't. More for me, bruh. Have fun in Smallsville while I head over to Gainesville in the Smallsville deal with all the other smart lifters. So, have you re on your supplements? Do you have enough creatine to survive the creatine drought? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, stay shining, because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace. Peace.